in this chapter, I want to talk about using auto-tune on drums and things of that nature. Another application outside of vocals. I think auto-tune can be used in so many different ways that it is so underused as. Especially for so many young producers that are coming up there that aren't really you know, don't really know much about tuning their sounds and so forth. You know, they may have learned to tune their 808s, but a lot of times they don't know how to tune their snares and they don't know how to tune their kicks. And so I hear their tracks and the drums are, you know, all over the place with the tuning. So this is a great cheat code for that and just a shortcut in terms of manipulating and, and getting your tracks to be more cohesive. So let's start with something. Um, in this particular case, these are drums that I chopped and, I, and I'm using an older drum machine called an MPC 3000 that doesn't have some of the newer technologies in it. So you're really at the mercy of, you know, the time of, you know, when it was made, which was shoot, at least 25, 30 years ago. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I might be dating myself here, but, but every now and then I still use the MPC 3000. So let's start. I want you to guys hear what I started with and, and how I built around it. So I'm going to play the first. So it's filtered out to some extent, but it was, a, it was a drum chop that had a tone in it. And that tone had a key. So the first thing is this, this track I'm working on is an E minor. So I had to fit, you know, obviously get that, you know, that drum and that with that tone in it into key. So this one, boom, auto tune, which you, you know, I love it, right? You go right in the, and this one, you can use the EFX. You can use pro, but EFX is immediate gratification too. And then obviously you can control your retune speed in terms of the level of how you want to have it affected. In my, in this case, you know, you, you select instrument to make sure you're, you're on the instrument presetting and you select your key that you want it to be in. But that way it really gets the tone where it needed to be. And it was in its immediate gratification. So it doesn't stop my workflow. So it allows me to keep just rocking and rolling. Now I'm going to play you a little bit more of the track and I'm going to show you some other things I did in the track. Start the track from the beginning. I'm going to place a little bit more of the track in a sec, but I want to highlight another sound. This is another sampled sound. Same thing. A random record, kind of a per perky, kind of a percussionish sound that I chopped, sampled. Same thing. It was in a mystery key. As a matter of fact, this drum wasn't even registering a key. So it was just clashing with the overall, you know, what was going on. Same thing. Tuned it. Just a quick, you know. And I also just wanted it. It, it just works. And it just works great with the other chop. And now, because I've got auto-tune on both of them, they're in harmony, where they were really clashing before because one was in a mystery tuning and one just was not in a different tuning. And on an old school piece of gear, when you when you pitch something down, you're changing the tempo and so on and so forth. So auto-tune becomes a great tool, for, especially for like these types of drums. And actually any drum, to be honest. Like if, you don't, if you're not familiar with drum tuning, this is a great great way to even to help teach your ear and train your ear. Um, now I'm going to go a little further into the track. Some pretty unique trick on this one. Okay, now these are these are program drums from the MPC Live. Now, the tricky thing about these drums, I wanted that lower sound. I wanted that sound to sound like they were pitched down and so on and so forth. But when I pitched them down and I just, I transposed them in logic, when I pitched them down, I took them out of key. So I pitched them down, I took them out of key, printed that in that tuning, and then I tuned them with auto-tune to get them back in the right key. So I was able to achieve the sound that I wanted, that lower sound, but I was able to fight it, fight the sound and get it back in key. By the way, 
Sorry, that's that 90s knock. You young boys don't know about that. I should say youngins because there's so many dope female producers out there nowadays. Shout out to Jordan Kiddo. And Wonder Girl and Track Girl. And that's a great way to see auto-tune in action outside of vocals, on drums, on chopped drum samples, and, and making everything fit harmoniously together. Learn about tuning your drums and use auto-tune as the best cheat code for it. <laughs>